Hello everybody, in today's tutorial I want to show you how to use a clipping mask in Adobe Fresco. Clipping mask is essentially a, a layer in Adobe Fresco that can be clipped to another layer, that's why it's called clipping mask, and all of the changes that you make on that clipped uh, mask layer could be then uh, sit and stay within the area of the uh, main layer. There are loads of advantages of why you would want to use a clipping mask, but um, let me demonstrate it as we speak. So let's work with this uh, model's face, for example. I'll show you how it looked like before, so I'll unclip the mask and I'll show you after. So now it's just a shaded area that uh, looks like a face and uh, it looks like a little bit bland. So what I did, I've created um, this layer just over here yeah you just press plus and you create a layer and then you use um, for example um, a brush of your choice to make some sort of um, sh shades yeah so I've highlighted um, uh, some areas here on the chin because it's a shadow slightly just over here next to um, a hairline and also uh, ears and also areas around the eyes Right now it looks pretty bad, you may think that I'm crazy suggesting that, but um, as soon as you press uh, this sign over here, yeah, you sort of clip that to uh, the main layer, which represents the face. So it's essentially what basically happened, that everything that stayed outside the, um, the face area disappeared, right? Now it still looks a little bit rough because it's quite brown. So you have a lot of options um, of how to use a clipping mask and that's um, an amazing option. It's called blend mode, right? So right now it's a normal mode and then there's loads of loads of loads of different options and you can play around it and it will give you a completely different result. So for example, dark multiply color burn, linear burn, you name it. Screen, that's quite an interesting option, although I would like it to be slightly darker rather than lighter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and look for another here, overlay. So I think um, I quite like this overlay option, so I'm just going to keep it. The other cool thing about that, you can also adjust the opacity, so you can make it as um, trans transparent as possible okay so let me show you how the how the clipping mask uh, I have for the hairline looks like yeah so if I switch it off switch it on again the clipping mask right and if I were to unswitch it at all unclip it you see <laughs> it's just everything is outside the edges so if I clip it back again everything stays within the main uh, area so this is how a, mask, a clipping mask work in Adobe Fresco. I hope you enjoyed that uh, very quick tutorial and I hope it helps make your illustration a bit more interesting and make your work uh, easier. Thanks for watching and see you next time.